meltdown. We just finished meltdown. Meltdown, that's it, yes. Yeah, um, yeah the, the sort of... So there are meltdowners who would kind of levy criticism towards you uh, by saying that you are misleading retail investors by uh, hyping up a particular ticker, um, suggesting that this could go to incredible heights, etc., etc., uh, when in fact the current state of the company does not reflect that at all. Um, and they would consider that that sort of doing that is something unethical. I'm curious to have your response to some of those criticisms. Um, I, you know, James, uh, about being criticized by the meltdown and me with my unrealistic outcome is what some have characterized as. I would tell you nothing's been uncharacteristic. Everything's been factual um, for them. You know, I don't know what mindset people might have about me as a content creator, but I've been on the up and up as far as how I invest, why I invest, and how long I plan to invest. And the fundamentals are strictly behind that. But Meltdown tries to paint me into a corner. Isn't it? Morantz is a sh he's looking for a short squeeze. But um, that'll tell you if you've ever talked to me, which you guys have talked to me. Um, but that's not why I invest. That's not how I invest, and that's not what I look at my investments as. So. Um, yeah, Meltdowners figured out that I'm not the guy. I'm not the, the guy they could attack. And, and so they've changed their stance on me. A lot have. And that's the truth. No one's really against me per se. Um, but they definitely agree with me on every other uh, investment that I've talked about. They just don't agree with me on GameStop because they don't want to be wrong. And the unfortunate part is they are wrong. They're completely wrong. And, uh, and I don't mind telling people that they're wrong about GameStop. That's what I've been doing for a lot of years now. And we're going to be right. We're real close to it. So I'm very excited. Nice. Cool. Uh, I think that's it for criticism section. I don't know if you wanted to hop in. Yeah, uh, just something that I thought you said that was interesting. Um, you said, you know, people, I can't be bought. You can't, you oh, can't yeah. buy me. That, that kind of thing. I just wanted to touch on that and expand on that is that a thing that people have tried to do why do you say that so there's so many things that i get offered okay i've been offered two hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year to move and go do a show in tennessee and i said no i was offered um partnerships on youtube and affiliates and i say no i'm the only youtuber that i know of i am an actual affiliate to GameStop. So GameStop is my affiliate partner. Um, I don't use the affiliate. I talked about this in a video recently because uh, I don't want GameStop to write me a check. They actually wrote me two checks and I took the two checks and I was like, man, I'm not cashing these because I didn't want them to pay me out of their pocket for what I do. I'm not here to get rich off of GameStop. I'm not here to get rich off of YouTube fame. I'm not that way. And some people are. And I just document what I do. It's a hobby of mine, but um, yeah, I've been offered money, plenty of money to partner up with certain people and do certain things and I won't do them. Uh, if you guys have ever been in the content creation world right now, uh, these guys will offer you a thousand dollars a month just to put uh, some in the background, just so that the investors remember uh, children aren't watching this show. I have investors watching this show and everyone who watches the show is invested into the stock market. So they know. They know I might only have, you know, a lifetime of three million views or two and a half million, whatever it is. Um, that's not nearly as to what they see on our earnings show. On our earnings show, we did 6,000 something people in here. 6,000 investors. Somebody wants to tap into that. Well, I won't let them. I won't take, I won't take anything. I do zero partnerships and I don't sell anything. So that's just what I'm going to stick to that for a long time. Uh, I say a long time because uh, I just don't see myself going that route. I'm not that guy. 